Uh, look around this room. I can see some of the heavy hitters uh, going to be involved in today's broadcast. And Bristle, <laughs> we speak to him from Lawn BT. He's in isolation, 14 days worth. We want to find out if he's actually stayed within the compound. I've heard he's been seen at the Lawn Bakery. Oh, no. <laughs> and got a lock in there. Someone no, coughed. No. <laughs> uh, we've got the quiz, Bill. Are you ready? Uh, ready to go, Jim. Well, I'd like to think I'd so. I'll tell you what, a new mature quiz. Is really? Yeah, yeah. Justin <laughs> Longmuir from the Fremantle Dockers. James Kelly, of course. Uh, we're going to speak to Pops. as well, Popsy. Uh, nice to see you, Fat. What have you been up to, please? Uh, not a lot, Jim. There's a bit going on around the world. And uh, when you've got a business, it, uh, there's some decisions oh, you have to make. Hello. So mm. finally you're having to front up and do something. Well, Do uh, something. And I'm not the only one. There's a lot of people that will be struggling uh, with uh, making some um, decisions right. on, on workers. Mm. Yes. And it's a tough time out there. So I've uh, been doing a little bit of that. And, the, of course, the rush hour's back on that... Uh, you, Much better week. Good to see you back. Like far better week. <laughs> Where have you been? Prior to that, it was appalling. <laughs> Where have you been for three months? I, I, had a, I, I had a bloke say to me the other day, yeah. like, he's seriously purple. I'm, well, I'm going to get to you in just a second. Yes. Dark, nice to see you too. I, I stop at the st- I'm walking oh, across the street. This bloke stops. Was this in the Maldives? Winds his window down, yeah. Clarendon Street. He goes, Jim, for Christ's sake, get back on air. Bill's making an absolute <laughs> ass of himself. He wound his window back up and kept driving. <laughs> he might have mentioned the time slot as well. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> oh, uh, Duck, nice to see you. <laughs> I seem to get time slot thrown at me a lot these days. Oh, boy, yes. I'm surprised with the time slot. Uh, no, no, don't, um, don't ask. It's Bill's fault. Well, a lot of, a lot of my, fault. I left Bill mates, in charge. A lot of my mates, uh, you know, they like just going down to the beach, going for a walk, going for a jog, and they tune in. For, but it's too late now. Thanks, thanks for the they feedback. Can't, they can't yeah. do it. But anyway. I haven't I've seen got, you in I've yet got, either. I've been, uh, I've been very quiet, Bill. Just uh, lying low. A lot going on, as you said. We've had the bushfires, and then obviously... Obviously, uh, everything else that uh, has been spoken about it uh, far too much. So I'm not going to speak about that. But I'm good. I'm good. You're looking what? You're- Something about yeah, well, you, we but might get to wrong. that. Uh, right. My new nickname might be Fluffy Duck. All right, we'll get to that in a moment. Nice to see you. Oh, hello, Jim, and it's good to see you. I'm glad yeah, you're back. Nice. Uh, resume. Yes. Jim, there's a lot of problems in the world, and everyone's yes. got them. And, and and I like everyone has a few. And then uh, I walk in today. I've actually mm. got more as a result right. of walking into this box. I thought I could come in dark and escape this problem. You are the starting point to the new problems, Jim. Oh, you right. last night were. Duck, believe this or not, mm. on the green. Now, oh, no. Bill, that was on not, the that, grass. That's not on true. the grass. <laughs> Duck and on, I were down the race. <laughs> well, let's let him go. Right. But what? how many times have you heard this man here say, if you've played 200 games, you're Hall of Famer, you've yeah. got a premiership, you're allowed on the grass? On the grass. He's allowed on the grass for a Tasmania versus South Australia Shield game at Bell Reeve Oval, yeah. but he's not allowed on the MCG last night. So, yeah. have every, you seen this did you, last seven. night? There is evidence of it, and we've just posted it on at Uh-oh. Triple M. There wouldn't footy. be any. Give evidence. me a look. There'd and, be and, no evidence. Oh, there's Jim. <laughs> what are you doing out on the ground? And Jim, not just that. The yeah. man you were standing next to in that photograph, who is you that? were sucking up to that man. <laughs> who is it? His name is Lewis Martin, who you are trying to cut the lunch of Brian Taylor oh. while he's in isolation Martin. on the green oh. of the MCG. That, that wouldn't be. That wouldn't be the case. Now, <laughs> now, Brian is right up his clacker. We no, know that. There's no room quiet. up there. No, Brian's, <laughs> Brian's <laughs> taking it all. Brian's in ISO ISO day three and lawn, and yes. you have jumped in. The cat's away, and old Jimmy the mouse has just jumped in with uh, uh, Lewis Martin. Martin Lewis. Lewis Martin. <laughs> Lewis Martin. Yes. So you were you were sucking up to him while Fact, Brian's away. Let Jim, me tell you what happened. What were you talking? That conversation about? went for twenty minutes. Didn't. Let me tell you what happened. Right, firstly, Purple, you wouldn't know about this because you've never been part of a footy broadcast on. <laughs> television, but I had to go down and actually do my job. Oh, yeah. I Bang. had to uh, front up with uh, Haim, who did a magnificent job hosting yes. the broadcast last night. I'm not sure I actually added anything, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know why I had to do it, but I was down there doing it. Anyway, I then wanted, and you would have seen this, Purple, on all of our behalves to speak to Stephen Hawking, hmm. the magnificent head of football of yes. the AFL, yep. just to find out Shocking. what is going on in our great competition. And then uh, I had to walk past and I caught Jim, up. Jim, oh. you've always made a while. point to yes, stand Jim. on this side of the white line. Last yeah. night you crossed the line and you now cross the etiquette of Triple M footy. Let me tell you something yep. and then make it very, very clear. Oh. There's a couple of things. There's a couple of benefits <laughs> from this chaos we're in, Purple. What? There's a couple what? of benefits. This will be good. One of the first, I, don't know, I did speak to Wayne about this last night. One of the first ones. Wayne. The, Wayne. The, the, Wayne one of the first, He's rattled. He's rattled. One of the first ones is the traffic. Oh, yeah. my God, Bayside. What a pleasure it is to live down there at the minute. No road work? But he built, he can drive sideways, <laughs> not run into anyone. If, if I could get rid of the wanker cyclist, it would be Shangri-La in my part of the world. So, firstly, the yeah. traffic I'm appreciating. Right. And secondly, and this is what I spoke to Duck about last night, I, I walked out and had to do what you're talking about last night, and with the empty stadium, 
No abuse. <laughs> yeah. Normally when I have to walk out there, people are here, brochure. You're a flog. Why do I have to put up with your shit, you wanker? You're a flog. And, yeah. then, and then I cop it during the summer because you walk out and you the brochure, you fraud, bugger off back to the AFL. <laughs> so now the stadiums are empty, oh. purple, and I can just drift around. But before I let you go, <laughs> yes. just take me through the moment you then cross the white line, knowing you, you're transgressing on your own ideals in life. I'm welcome everywhere. No, oh. I'm welcome everyone. I think you need to apologise to our family. I think what's happened is I've now transcended those rules and no. I'm welcome everyone. Even, no, when no. You, even when you were president, you didn't go out there. No. I had to, Bill. No, you no, I'm, I was part of the telecast. You were sucking up Lewis Martin because Brian's away. Yeah, well, Brian can't get here, so Jim's gone, here's an opportunity. I'm right in here. Not normally any room. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> 